So we can try the uh, credits that we have, right? So we can try the admin, for instance. On 10.2.7. So these are the local hashes on the local system. So administrator. And then the hash is going to be this. Status login to you, right? Let me try with this. So we're not able to enumerate the users like so. But yeah, I'm thinking it's very possible that the admin account is uh, disabled. Mm. We should try with the RDP as well. Yeah, status login failure. But we should try with all of the other users. Like Brian, for instance, is the remaining user we want to try. So we take this portion of the hash right here. And then let's see. Brian... And then next one, I believe. Here. Yeah. And then let's say S and B. There is one thing I'm forgetting about that is crucial. The re this won't work even if the ha even if the credentials are is correct. This one is very 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 simple to forget about. It's because we we aren't doing local auth, so now NetExec is, is treating this as a essentially domain user. It's to some extent doing this. Whoops, but it's definitely not the case, right? So yeah, let's do. Specifying with local auth, like so. And we can now see that these credentials are correct. So let's go back to when we checked with administrator and then do local auth, like so. And yeah, there we go. Status account disabled, right? So this is what I thought. The administrator account is disabled. So let's go back to... It's going to say the same probably on as it be. Yes. So let's go back to Brian. These are valid set of credentials. Can we see the the users like so? We cannot. Let's try with RDP. And boom, we can. Uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, because the reason why we can do this, but it doesn't say pond, uh, it's due to how Brian is set up. I believe it's default with Windows. Uh, it's a type of, uh, it's local admin in a way, but you can't directly get a shell over SMB. But if RDP is open, then you can. Um, but yeah, that's why you just want to check every protocol that you can always. I'm going to show you something interesting. So, X3 RDP has essentially a, a feature for pass the hash. But it normally does not work because I think by default it is not allowed to essentially perform pass the hash over RDP. So we can take this hash right here. But instead of password, it has a feature called PTH, right? Pass the hash, like so. So let's try that. And uh, yeah, account restrictions are preventing this user from signing in. For example, blank passwords aren't allowed, etc. So yeah, if I slightly change this hash right here. You will see that it just doesn't work right because it's just the wrong hash but this is the right hash but it's not allowed so what do we do here right 